What's good, everybody? Well, it seems that only one day InfoWars has been kicked off of three social media. Three. First, it's Facebook. Then it's Apple's iTunes. Now it's YouTube. And this is kind of a problem to me. First of all, I don't care about Facebook. Because Facebook is dying. It's going to be nothing more than a zombie company. With five years from now. Plus Mark Zuckerberg is nothing more than a robot. Or one of them hosts from Westworld, you know. Because the way his mannerism and his behavior... It's like being data from Star Trek, only that people fucking hate you so much. He's probably made a lot of money off of selling people's personal information to ad companies. As well as the surveillance state system. Surveillance state system, or apparatus, whatever people call it. But... As for Apple, I don't like Apple. There was a time when Apple was good, you know, back in the day when they had Apple II computers and I guess these old fashioned Macintosh computers, like the Power PC. Those were good, but ever since recently, they've been terrible. They designed their products to break down within two years of its of its lifespan. Meanwhile meanwhile you got like Apple II computers or power PCs that can still function to this to this very day. And it's probably expensive to maintain and buy. Why do I want Apple products? Plus they make plus they're built by Chinese slave labor. Tim Cook is a fucking self-righteous piece of shit motherfucker and so was Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs stole from other people. He wasn't the creative member of the team and he was just a pseudo spiritualistic person and all that shit and I was half and he was very mean what I'm saying is that he was a pseudo-spiritual person. He was self-righteous. And he was a very mean person. Fired a lot of people. Make him angry in front of everybody. He treated his employees like shit. So I was happy when he fucking died. May he rot in hell. But as for YouTube, I was hoping YouTube would not do something like that. Like, be above the fray, but no, they gotta be in the fray. So they gotta, like, ban Alex Jones's InfoWars from their website. Now, in, now, as far as I know about InfoWars, they got their own site. They've been having their own site since, since the dawn of man or something since the new millennium. I don't know. That site's been around for a long time. Even before the 90s. Like, but now, one of the reasons why InfoWars was terminated from YouTube is because of hate speech. Well, what hate speech did he put on his website or his YouTube channel, InfoWars? Because the only thing I ever hear, no, the only thing I ever hear that Alex Jones likes to rant about is like space reptilians, conspiracy theories, Pizzagate, and of course, Turning frogs gay. So 
I guess talking shit about lizard people is considered hate speech. Did the fucking lizard people from planet bag of shit came and like told us you gotta ban Alex Jones because he's being racist towards our people. Hate speech. Come on, folks. I'm not, I'm failing, I'm failing to see the reason why he got banned. Now, I see this as a bad omen because, because if they can censor Alex Jones, who they're going to censor next? It's obviously they're going to go after people for wrong things. There's a lot of people that are not part of the left. So are they going to go after Ron Paul? Are they going to go after Sticks, me, or anyone else? Now, um, Boogie298 alluded this, that the re one of the reasons why they had to get rid of InfoWars is because of the ad company bunch of corporate buttheads want him off the off of YouTube which is bullshit now of course Paul Joseph Watson's also pissed off because he's part of InfoWars like I said I don't like InfoWars I don't care about InfoWars especially all it is is just conspiracy theories and selling people iodine or water filters. The only person on InfoWars I like is Paul Joseph Watson. That, but that's how far I can go with it. Now, you can still watch his videos on InfoWars 08. The entire channel got terminated and most of these videos you see on InfoWars link you to YouTube channels uh, on his videos and I still find it funny that the butthurt SJW crowd the corporatists as well as anyone from the left and the authoritarians want him off now I think Sticks Hex and Hammer alluded to this if you don't like the content on his channel, which that's what it is, then don't watch it. In fact, we call them channels on YouTube. The accounts on YouTube channels is because it's like channels on television. You're not going to go watch TV and see like Channel 9 broadcasting a romance show that is like TVY which makes it gay or something you don't like, a documentary that you don't like what they have on, and go and complain to the station telling them that you better cancel those shows or I'm going to stop watching. You don't do that. You just flip through the, the television, television and look for a channel you like. That's how it works. And all that, because since that's all they gotta do is not watch these videos or anything like that. And Alex Jones has been on YouTube since YouTube began, begun in 2005 or six, and that's all I can say, you know. In fact, what made YouTube great was the fact that it wasn't just like dry and boring corporatized media and corporatized entertainment and shows and whatnot. Videos that have been sanitized for like family friendly crap. No, it was like videos like Bum Fights, Tourette's Guy. Of course, you got like videos like the Angry Video Game Nerd, all swearing like sailors and shit, saying fuck 
52,000 times. It was, I guess, people that are, like, talking about mad shit on the internet, you know? Talking mad shit about, like, I saw those gods or these spirits in my dream like they're schizophrenic. As well as other edgy stuff. That what, that's what made YouTube so great. And now, YouTube is giving in to these NGOs and these corporations, as well as left-wing government, to sanitize their product, and turn it into a friendly, friendly, zombified crap. And I don't like it. Because once they go after InfoWars, they're going to come after you. It's a slippery slope fallacy. That's all I got to say, people. I'm Wicked Monka, signing out. Oh, yes. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my BitChute channel, as well as follow me on Minds, Gab, and Twitter. That is all.